Welcome to the JCMS Web Basic Training Video Tutorial Program. In this video, I'll show you how to add mice to the JCMS Web Database, and then I'll show you how to edit mice, where you can update a mouse status or correct any mistakes made when adding a mouse. Let's get started. After logging into JCMS Web, click on Manage Mice in the top navigation or in the left navigation. Once in Manage Mice, click on Add Mouse in the left navigation. And this is the form you'll fill out when adding a mouse to the database. You start by entering a mouse ID. Select a protocol ID. You can select a litter number if the mouse is part of a litter. It is not a required field. The fields with the red asterisks next to them are the required fields. You can select a strain by viewing all strains in the database or the active only strains. Select a generation and a birth date. Select the sex of the mouse and the life status. Select the breeding status. And for cage ID, you can select to use next available ID, which will select the next available cage ID from the database. Or you can click select cage, which will allow you to select an existing cage ID. Or you can create a new cage ID by clicking new cage. I find it easiest to select use next ID. Select a room and a coat color. Again, this is not a required field. Select the diet. I'll select 4%, which means 4% fat. Select an owner or work group. Select the origin. You can enter a replacement tag ID. You can also enter comments, which is optional as well. You can auto increment the ID, which means when I save this mouse, the mouse ID VT01 will automatically change to VT02. Select a cage card and click Save. You'll see at the top there's a message cage 19 has been saved and mouse ID VT01 has been saved. You'll also notice that the mouse ID did auto increment to VT02. So if I wanted to save another female mouse with the same exact information, I would click Save. You could also save and preview your cage card. And now I'll show you how to edit this mouse by clicking Edit Mouse in the left navigation. Under Edit Mouse, you can search by Mouse ID, Life Status, Sex, Owner or Work Group, Strain, Cage ID, or Date of Birth. I'll filter by Mouse ID equals V T O one and click search. You'll notice I have one result for this mouse ID. From this screen I can edit the life status, the exit date, the breeding status, the protocol ID, and the strain. To edit any other fields, I'll have to click this edit button underneath the action column. Once I'm in Edit Mouse, I can change the room, I can change any information about the mouse, and I can add information about the, the mouse age, the vial ID, and the vial position. And then if I click Save, you'll see that mouse ID VT01 has been updated. I can view the cage card from the screen, or I can return to Search, and search and edit a new mouse. That concludes our training for adding and editing mice in JCMS Web. For more information or to post questions, visit our website at colonymanagement.jax.org.